Arrested for murder, George de la Cruz is sitting in a jail cell tonight, accused of killing his estranged wife. Good evening, I'm Walt Makaborski. And I'm Judy Maggio. This arrest comes more than three years after Julianne Gonzalez went missing. KITV's Alex Boyer is live outside the Travis County Jail where de la Cruz is being held on $500,000 bond. Alex. Yeah, Travis County Grand Jury felt there was enough evidence to indict De La Cruz for murder. Now, what exactly the evidence is that led to those murder charges, investigators aren't saying at this point. Tonight, I talked to friends of De La Cruz who are standing by his side. Shock and disbelief. I don't believe it. I've known him since he was a little bitty baby. So... I don't believe it. Jesse Corpus Sr. floored over the arrest of his friend George de la Cruz. The 25 year old is charged with murder, suspected of killing his estranged wife, Julianne Gonzalez. I never heard any ruckus or anything like that. She's been missing since March 2010. I heard today that he was arrested. Uh, it, it was just kind of a shock. Joe Cruz lives across the street from the de la Cruz family. He never saw the young couple fight and doesn't believe De La Cruz is a killer. In your opinion, uh, do you think he's capable of, of killing Julian? You know, I've never thought that he, he had that capability, no. De La Cruz has been the only person of interest since his wife's car was found abandoned in a Walgreens parking lot more than three years ago. He went on Dr. Phil to plead his innocence, taking a polygraph test, which he failed. Would you want to take another polygraph test with me, with me asking you? If you killed Julie? No, no, no more, because I know I probably wouldn't have failed. Okay. Right now, I'm not even calm. I'm not even thinking about it. Well, if you didn't kill her, you'll pass that test. We stopped by De La Cruz's home to try to talk to his mother, but no one answered. And I talked to Gonzalez's mother by phone late tonight. You know, for the past three years, she's been handing out these flyers hoping that her daughter Julie is still alive. Tonight she tells me she doesn't know what to think. The family plans on holding a news conference sometime tomorrow. We'll let you know what they have to say. For now, reporting live outside the Travis County Courthouse in downtown Austin, Alex Boyer, KITV News.